organization I work for on the show, but, um, and the opinions I express are purely my own. But yeah, no, from my personal opinion, it went great. Um, it, we held it in Tacoma. This was the first time we did that. Attend, we had, we had, we adjusted our original goal for attendees down and we still didn't quite hit that. I think, I, you know, for me, it was a success. Other people who go purely by numbers may not feel it was a success. As far as fundraising, thank you to seed donors like you. We did great. We did, I, I think we raised the numbers we wanted to do. But as far as the event itself, I think it went great. I was part of, I was part of the kids and teen area. That's where I volunteered. Um, we set up for a lot of children. We didn't have a lot of children, but the children who came, came, they did the word search. They did, you no, know, we had fun. I think, I, I thought it was a great event. I, people had fun. Uh, so yeah, no, overall, yeah, overall it went well. Good. How was your week? You raised, you raised the money. That, that's very important. You raised yeah, the money. Yeah, no, of course. Right? I mean, that is the, yeah. that, that is important. Yeah. Um, Building community is important too, and I think yeah. for yeah. us, the realization that we really still have, I mean, we're a King and Pierce organization. We, we straddle two counties, but we really need to do more in Pierce County where Tacoma is. We focus a lot on Seattle and the greater Seattle area, and yeah. our connections yeah. are deep there. We continue to need to build connections in Tacoma. Um, I, you know, also, I think, uh, you know, a lot of things, there's traffic, there's, I, I, yeah, but it was, no, overall, uh, yeah, no, I, I had a great time. I, we, we, yeah, we, I got to hang out with some children, which isn't directly part of my job very often anymore. Right. Um, yeah, no, it was a good, yeah, it was a good event. Oh, well, um, that's great. So tell me about, uh, Campbell, a soup being thrown at Van Gogh, or we or should we? Yeah, in fact, in fact, interestingly, just just uh, just uh, an hour or so ago, I actually came across uh, the video of that, which is actually worth seeing because it's it's uh, uh, it, it it gives more context. Is is but is more uh, is more context deserved? I well, no, I'm I, yeah. I, yeah, I think I think so. I, okay. I mean, it's interesting to me because um, <laughs> uh, uh, it, it was obviously filmed by somebody who was re waiting to film it. Sure. You know? so yes. It, it was. You, you can see. You know, there are two young women at mm -hmm. twenty and twenty-one and twenty. Um, you know, they remind me very much of the. Uh, kind of probably fairly well educated um activist t teenagers and early 20s people that i knew when i was that age you know it's a kind of a it's a it's a british breed uh and yeah yeah, yeah. Yes. okay okay in other words i'm not saying it's a phase they go through because for some for, for some of them it's it remains <laughs> some of us <laughs> and some, some of us <laughs> yeah no no i agree some of us so so they had um first of all they they know very well but also i'm not i'm not saying i identify with these particular activists no i, do I understand with, but they're okay. you know they're climate they're climate they're yes, anti oil which i do believe in but I, okay go on i'm sorry i keep interrupting i want to so, hear your perspective so, and i have one. well my perspective is that um you know thanks to the sanity of the museum officials and in in full knowledge of the people who are doing this those paintings are completely protected so, of course. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So it is in fact a symbolic act. Okay. You know? um, okay. It 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 the, the it, I I actually I don't equate it with my erstwhile friend Tony Shafrazi's de defacing Picasso's Guernica in uh, 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 at the Museum of Modern Art thirty or forty years ago because he used paint on paint and yeah. and yeah, yeah. He, he did not know that it was going to be easily cleaned and it was in fact a a destructive act yeah 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 no yeah i, I see this as basically a symbolic act um they used heinz uh tomato soup 
Yep. I, I, when I first read about it, I thought maybe this is a Warhol reference. But, I know, but, <laughs> right. Yeah, well, yeah. But, you know, that, then they would have used Campbell's. But, yes. but anyway, um, they, they, um, they knew what they were doing. Yes. Um, they, they quickly threw, one of, the, one of them opened the can, splattered the front of the painting. They then proceeded uh, slightly clumsily to, 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 to open their tubes of glue and glue their hands and then stick their hands to the back of the wall. They, they could have rehearsed that a little bit better, uh -huh. but, but obviously nobody, nobody rushed up to stop them. This is interesting because... Um, oh. We live in that society. No, no one's going to. No, I, that doesn't. Well, surprise but there me was yet. presumably there was a. There should have been a guard in that room. You know. But I mean, no. Was, but no. Oh, well, I mean, not to. I mean, well, to. I mean, to not to equate. Well, not to equate this to a much darker thing. But Uvalde, we live in a society. Yeah, no guards don't rush in. Guards well, rush out of the room and go ask their supervisor what to do. That, yeah, I mean, you're that's, right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That's probably what happened. So. I don't know what time of day they, they did this or how crowded it was mm -hmm. or or not. It may mm -hmm. not have been crowded. Yep. Um, they could have been almost alone in that room. Right. No, right. Well, so sunflowers, as, though. I mean, even, I mean, I don't know what time yeah, of day or I don't, yeah. you know, a weekday, though. I mean, it's sunflowers. You're not no, going to so be. They chose a painting that was a favorite, right? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. obvious and, and, and well publicized, as they yep. had done before as others have done around the world because they've sure. done it in yeah. And, yeah, yeah and then and and one of them uh one of the young women had an articulate urgent message about money oil and the point holding up the empty soup can was that there are so many people who are hungry and cannot even afford to heat a tin of soup, as she put it, you know, so, so yeah, there was, yeah. a, you know, that, that was, it, it was, it, it was a, um, I mean, I can't say it, it was successful because I don't know if they didn't alienate more people than they would have, you know, that's encouraged well, the, I, I'm not, strangely, I'm not as shocked by the idea of, you know, throwing something like soup at a painting that's under glass because it, it, it's not, it's a symbolic act and it's not a destructive act. No, okay, well, oh uh, no, all of this. So first of all, lots of things. But I think one of the important ones is how things are spun in the media. So, okay, so you, oh, the, they, I'm you watched the video, and they said in the video specifically that they knew that this wasn't that that, that they, they knew that it was protected. And, and no, that, no, 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 no. So the, how do no, you they, know that? They didn't. How, then how do you know that they knew that? Because You're, it was. Because you could see it was. Because, because, okay. Okay. And because the, all of the news stories have emphasized that. Right. Um, no, that's not even the important part to me or that, that they would mention that in the video. Um, <laughs> I'm given 21 year old activists. I'm not even assuming, <laughs> assuming they even did know that, but that's not even the important part to me. Um, I, to well, me, okay. I, 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 I think they would have because, um, because, you know, they've done it with a constable. I mean, this has been going on for a number of months in various museums. Sure. Uh, no, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, no, okay. So, and with and, the constable, they only attached themselves to the frame. They glued themselves to the frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is, a, this is a, you know, they, you know, they, they could, you know, they, they would be in jail, probably. Yes or their parents would have to fork out a lot of money maybe yeah if they damaged a painting right uh, well no but i here okay here's why i don't well here's why I, so i yeah i think overall for people who don't have the time to watch the video the message gets yeah i i don't know i i don't think people 
the general public understand how it relates to the environment, how this, I, I for me personally, yeah, I don't think, I mean, even if you damage a painting, property damage is different from violence. Property damage is different yeah. from, yeah. I mean, I, you know, but I, I, the one quote that I think I did see or get published was, you know, is art worth more than life? And I think that's a powerful quote. That's a powerful statement. So if they got that out, that's, but I don't think. Yeah, but what, where, where, what is the, who is make, who is choosing art over life? No, that, 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 right. Because they're the ones who, right. It's, 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 it's just not a clear message. I think they're, I mean, well, and again, it's not me to judge. I didn't do anything this week for climate activism and they got a lot of attention for climate activism. So good on them at the end of the day. But I, yeah, I question how clearly that message got out and especially with all the ways right-wing media could spin this and did in in ways that i will paints lots of different all the avenues that they want to paint the art world um climate activism young people all the ways they wanted to spin all these things they got to because they got the footage that they wanted and they got the and it they got to tell their story over the footage. And so I think, I don't know, people go viral, but I, I don't know, that's, I guess. I, that's I, I thought, yeah, what, what's interesting actually is, is the art, if in this, in this instance, obviously they chose, they chose an, an accessible target. Yes. However, they did not pay anything to go into the museum. Yes. And that painting was given to the museum. <laughs> you know, by a family many, many years ago. So yeah. that painting itself has no value attached to it, really. Uh, I mean, in other words, if, if it was sold, it would go for a lot of money, but nobody has, nobody has actually paid a huge amount of money for it. So okay. We, okay. And, they, and they can see it for nothing yeah. because yeah, they don't yeah, charge right, in that right. medium. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. It just, but it's interesting, it represents money. Oh, no, 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 I know. But wait, okay, you once traveled on an airplane with sunflowers, but not this yes, another one. one. Yeah, there was one, another one. Yeah, that's there, what I thought. There are five or six yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, one, the one that was sold at Christie's, which I was involved with, went yeah. to Japan, which is in yeah. a, yeah. which is, which is again, it's actually, it's in a museum. It's in a, it's in a, it's a privately owned museum, but it's mm. easy, you know, it's, I think it's free to the public. So, yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, I, no, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Well, I, no, uh, Japan's legal system. I know I was joking, but seriously, what? don't activists. Like if I, I don't want to encourage any young activists because Japan's legal system is no joke. No, they, it's, it's on the top floor of an office building. It's, uh, is that true? Is that? Yeah. 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 And it's interesting in Korea, I found the, these, these, like, like the big cosmetic companies often have their own museums huh. and in, in, in Korea, they put them in the basements of their office buildings in Japan. They put them often on the top floor. So I, I don't quite know what that, I don't yeah. know what that's yeah, okay. about. Um, so, but, but, but to continue this yeah. theme of if, 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 as I believe it is really art is now, Part of the entertainment world, yeah. This this business of um, uh, uh, art and politics. I just saw an interview on CNN with Mark Hamill. Sure. And Mark Hamill, Luke his Skywalker. business manager, was called by President Zelensky. Yes. Uh, I didn't know this, and so President Zelensky asked Mark Hamill if he would be Czar of, one of the one an ambassador yes for a drone gathering drone uh, uh, financing mm -hmm. for for the Ukrainian army mm -hmm. and and so I thought this is actually it was quite brilliant of Zelensky to choose Mark Hamill because Obviously, there's a, the Star Wars connection. Yes, 
the fact that he does not doing it, I'm maybe not doing very much. Maybe he does voice acting. He's he does fine for himself, but he doesn't. Okay. Work. I mean, he has but I mean, time. it was he an opportunity it. for him yeah. to have 20 minutes on CNN. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, and that was, you know, I mean, George Clooney might have said no. I don't. I don't know. Or he would have. You know, I, he would have gi given them a check. <laughs> Um, what, I think what's George Clooney did give him a check because there are no because Zelensky is he's tied in with a bunch of celebrities. This is Mark Hamill isn't the only one. But, I, you know, I actually probably I'm probably naive. He, he probably had a guy with a with a uh, you know he used to have a Rolodex, but probably a very big thick book of Hollywood yes, numbers. Ro yes to Rolodex, just to like yes to Rolodex yeah, reference. Just going through it, and Mark Hamill picked up the phone or. Mm. You know, <laughs> Well, he did say he did say he thought it was a prank at first, but as, <laughs> yeah. But what's interesting to me is that they actually want that. I mean, there are people who have drone collections, and presumably there are a lot of them, right? Mm -hmm. They they can give drones that will be used in Ukraine. Yep. So they must have an amazing system. How do they get them there? In other words. Is, but, is okay. There a, I, well, no. I want to know. Okay. No. Okay. So drones is a whole thing, and I so I own several. Actually, I own several drones. Um, I, I guess are, you I could gonna, say, are you going to give one of them to Mark Hamill so that mine are can, very very small, and I don't think those are the best. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, okay, I own one, which is called the Snapchat Pexy, which is literally, like, branded by Snapchat, that, and it really can only take selfies. I don't see how the, it's, it's, it is, like, this small, and I don't... I'll hold a grenade, one grenade on there. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I will send all my drones to anywhere for Mark Hamill. First of all, I love Mark Hamill, both because he's involved with Star Wars, obviously, but also... The Child's Play, you know, the horror with the Chucky dolls. With yeah. uh, They did a reboot, and Don Mancini, who is the creator of the original, is not involved in the reboot. The original has a TV series now, which is in series two. I'm sorry, this is all promos, and not yet, I don't know. But Mark Hamill played the voice of Chucky in the reboot, which I actually oh. liked. Um, I love Mark Hamill for a lot of reasons. Okay, uh, well... That just made. I just have to throw this in because yeah. it was a news item I also oh, saw today. Please. Somebody, somebody has made that. That there's apparently. I, I don't recall this. There's a uh, there's a Star Wars scene in which Han Solo is in concrete, or he's he's yeah um, yeah yeah no frozen in carbonite. carbonite. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a baker has made a life size replica of Han Solo in carbonite. Nice. And apparently it's it, it very difficult to tell that it's, it is bread, but it's so well done. <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, yes. No. Okay. So I, yeah, yeah, I can remember. Yeah, no, I had, so yeah, yeah, this was part of, so Jabba the Hutt, I had all the action figures, I had the Han Solo in carbonite action figure, and so you could like put him inside of it, and then you could take him outside of it, no, this was all very important to my childhood, yeah, 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 no, all, Han Solo in carbonite, a baker doing that, that's great, no, that's great, um, <laughs> um, okay, what, all right, uh, anything else in the news? The January 6th hearings, Alex Jones, Elon Musk and Twitter, any of that? I, I, I think that, that what, uh, what should not have surprised me and what seems possibly to be, I mean, my takeaway from, I, I watched a bit of the, the hearings on Thursday. Yeah about an hour of it at lunchtime, and then I listened to some of the commentary about it. The idea, which should not shock me, that, that, they, that the Secret Service had a lot of information that it was going to happen, mm -hmm. That there are elements in the Secret Service that were or are very sympathetic to white nationalism, right? And and the fact that that there may have been the the, the reason that it was it took so long 
to get um, any kind of uh, national guard or what, whatever to the capital was 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 not a, not not accidental. In other words, that, 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 yeah, that there were there were elements of of um, well, there was obviously mistakes made, but there there, there was um, you know there was one clip where where Chuck Schumer is talking to I, I don't know a. a, a like a, a top guy in the defense department and saying yeah. you've got to get people here and the guy's saying well i'm not on the ground and i'd leave that up that decision up to in other right. words he was yeah. prevaric he didn't say right yes i'm the i'm the boss i'm gonna and i can I'm do, gonna do yeah, that yeah. yeah there was pushback right and i think that i think there was restraint and pushback uh for a number of reasons, some of them inefficiency, but I think other reasons had to do with a degree of sympathy for, for, for that they didn't want to engage people who, on whose side they may have ideologically been. Okay, it doesn't shock me at all, obviously, um, as the, yeah, no, that law enforcement, well, no, okay, so first of all, again, some of these people, including some of the people who are on trial, so the Oath Keepers are specifically an organization that is made up of current and former, and so I think 140 of them have been identified from January 6th of current um, sheriffs, police departments, fire departments, military, um, EM, EMTs, first aid. Um, these are, the, yeah, no, these are people who, yeah, no, that, that, yeah, so that's not shocking. The, yeah, no, both the Secret Service and the FBI had warnings issued internally for weeks ahead of time. Yeah, yeah. And again, but specifically with the FBI and the Department of Justice, these are the things that right-wingers are now actually claiming are are, are on the side. They're, they're claiming that the FBI and the Department of Justice are, are they're claiming that, well, I mean, the wild conspiracy theories that very right wingers believe that, you know, all things are false flags that that that, yeah. uh, you know, that, that school shootings, you know, but the, but they're, you know, but again, they're successfully convincing people on their side that the FBI is protecting and a cabal of leftists when in fact, the FBI allowed them into the Capitol building in some level, on some sense, in, you know, I mean, that's what well, the facts I, I, evidence or prove. Commission or commission or, yeah, yeah. And those people still believe that now. Something like 66% of Republicans still believe the election was stolen. Something like, I mean, there... There was some guy, Republican gov, gov, guy running for governor who was on television just now saying the FBI has a conspiracy against me and I can prove it, right? And, 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 and he's, he'll it's never... Not a, it's not Al Sharpton saying, it's not Al Sharpton saying that. <laughs> right, <laughs> it's, and it's, he'll it's, never have to prove it. All he'll have to do is click back to an article where he said it whether they debunked it or not, you know, he can click to right wing, it, it, like literally, I mean, Kellyanne Conway, uh, well, no, but she didn't create it. It's actually, I mean, it goes back to the 70s. These are people in Nixon's time who were like, we will create our alternative media. We will create our alternative facts. You know, like they, we, they, 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 this is not new. This is, this actually goes all the way back to like Nixon era of like how to diverge and just manipulate because you know you're losing. You know you don't have popular opinion, but you can control things. Um, okay, so so this is this is straight from the news. Okay, go for from it. My news. Yes. Yep. Apropos of what you just said. Yep. I was on a panel yesterday, a Zoom panel, uh, which was organized by Brooklyn Rail, which is a magazine or a, it's a it's a cultural magazine. Sure. And they do poetry readings and this and the panel, which was um, it came out of an exhibition 
in a gallery uh, nearby that I'd, I'd helped them with called Mad Women. And the, the, the exhibition was basically a tribute to four women dealers who had been very important in the 1960s, okay, on Madison Avenue. Yeah. And, um, and some of them are still known, some of them were not. And so uh, a friend of mine, um, I think you know her, maybe Veronique, is doing a lot of work uh, internationally on uh, uh, archiving information about female dealers over over the last century and how important yeah. they were. Yes. So I was in conversation with Veronique, an art historian called Phyllis Tuckman, who's about my age, and I I I guess I was there because I knew some of them firsthand. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the audience I didn't know. I, I found out later there were some people I knew who were watching, and and there was a. Um, there was a space at the end, 15 minutes for questions and answers, right? For questions. So, and the, when, when someone asked a question, you actually could see them, right? So there was a question at, at addressed to me uh, by a guy, I guess he's probably in his late twenties or early thirties, um, a, a, a bit wild eyed, um, uh, but he had a question about the infiltration of the CIA backing art galleries uh, in the 1960s and this leading to kind of commercialization today. Huh. So, so I, huh. I actually, I, I knew, I knew where he was coming from. Sure. So I, and somebody, somebody later emailed me afterwards said, I can't believe you, you managed to answer that with a straight face but <laughs> this no no but the story is interesting yeah because, yeah 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 because there was a there was a serious root well it may have been published but the rumor was that the rockefeller family yeah because David Rockefeller was the head of the Museum of Modern Art, Nelson Rockefeller was the governor of New York, mm -hmm. right? That they had influence with the State Department. Okay. That David Rockefeller was a big collector of Rothko and Jackson Pollock and abstract expressionist artists, right? Mm -hmm. And that there was a program, the State Department sponsored a program, Star Starting in those years of borrowing paintings from both museums and collectors to hang in embassies around the world, to hang in American embassies. Okay, right? okay, yeah. Okay. So so the sinister the sinister interpretation of this yes. was that abstract expressionism was being <laughs> underwritten by the CIA, right? so that the Rockefellers could get even richer. Yeah. yeah. And one of the ways they were doing this was to make it a globe globally, promote it globally. Yeah, right? yeah no, 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 I, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, the real story I think is far simpler than that. Hmm. And, and it's, it's that if you're going to put paint American paintings in embassies around the world. American paintings that have figurative subjects in them could be considered controversial, could be considered uh, in, in some countries, it could go counter to their sure. cultural yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. Abstract paintings, are, you know, no one can complain. <laughs> right, right? No, right, yes. You, you send it to Toronto, <laughs> right. you send it to Australia, you're sending it where? They're, they're, they're innocuous. They're, they're right. actually, no, right. they're not sinister, they're innocuous. So, and, and that, that was the reason. But that, I'm surprised, I was surprised. I haven't heard that in like 20 or 25 years. And he's a young, young guy. So it's still, it's still there. It's still floating around there. No, right. And um, I mean, but yeah, no, I mean, I, I you know, I, I talk about, I, I talk a lot about a conspiracy theorists. Like, I mean, it's, you know, like, oh, that, that's Agatha, right? 
That's Agatha. Hi, hi Agatha. Oh, hi, Agatha. Oh, <laughs> there's, there's, a, quite there's a, a face, slight yeah. smell in here. I don't know. There are three dogs in here, and one of them. Three? Maybe they just. Maybe it was just gas. Wait, um, do you say three? Who? Do you yeah, we have got, got um, uh, a corgi here. Wait, um, who's wait, you have a dog I don't even know about? Corgi, but we're foster we're fostering the corgi. Where did the corgi come from? I, I don't need to see it necessarily if it's I mean I, mean, I do, I would love uh, to see it, but I, yeah. Oh. Oh, she's high. I don't know if she's Yeah, no, I don't but oh but oh my I, gosh! That looks like Daisy! That's Daisy! Daisy, you need to come see this dog. Who <laughs> All right, Daisy. <laughs> yeah it does look look that's so funny that is hilarious it's you the, it's you daisy it's you Cleo is is growing at an alarming rate who now how are you How have you been? How was your last couple of weeks? Oh, it's it's been good. It's been fine. It's been kind of normal. But tell me about your trip. Oh, it was incredible. Las Vegas. I know I had a great time. The festival was amazing. Um, Las Vegas is sort of exactly the same. I mean, it's a time capsule. Uh, I mean, there are many, many new casinos, like sort of in between the casinos that were already really? there. But but uh, it doesn't change fundamentally it doesn't change you know i mean like the fremont street experience has zip liners going down it now but that doesn't feel new or day it's still uh, everything yeah no vegas still feels like vegas this is my first time back in 20 years the festival was really really good they did they were really thoughtful in a lot of the ways i mean festivals can good. be you know going all the way back to the first Lollapalooza, where they kind of locked you into a gated area and they didn't even have water available like i mean this place had hydration stations this place had bathrooms every like actual physical bathrooms not porta potties really? many many vegan food options i mean the food was expensive but that it's festival food um but lots of options no it was i, I had a great time i That's and great. i you know i mean for me i haven't traveled since the pandemic i yeah. haven't traveled I don't travel alone often. Usually I'm meeting someone or, you know, so for, just to, yeah. to do it and, and to, to, but I, yeah, I did it and I came back and I survived and yeah, yeah, I, I was able but, to successfully have a trip. So I'm kind of proud of myself. And you stayed overnight. You were there a couple of nights. I was there a couple of nights. Yeah. I stayed at Treasure Island where Gillies, you know, the, uh, the mechanical bull Gillies yeah. is still there. The mechanical bull is still there. I did not ride the mechanical bull. I was going to say, did you go to any of your own ha old haunts? Where you I did. I, I, I wandered around and I, I took a lot of pictures as well. So I think I have some sort of like photo essay that I might. But yeah, I mean, I yeah, I did. I, I, I checked it all out. And that's why I say like none of it has changed. I mean, it's it's kind of, yeah. yeah. Um, it, is it somewhere... In the 1950s, is that what where? I, okay, where, I mean, Fremont Street located? experience is absolutely 1950s, 1960s. It's 99 cent shrimp cocktail. It's you still. I mean, while I was there, there was like a Twisted Sister cover band, but also blaring over the speakers, you hear Frank Sinatra. I mean, it's it is definitely it, that it is the vibe is definitely like classic, classic Vegas. Um, but what's interesting is from the Fremont Street experience to where I lived, that whole strip used to be very, very run down. And now that is more, I would say, hipster hotels. So they're not oh, okay. they're not the original casinos. They're not the original 1950s, 60s vibe, but they're retro. They weren't there before. They're very, it's funny. They took real rundown motels and they sort of, 
use the vibe of the real rundown motel yeah, but yeah. you can tell they're much more expensive much more you know boutique mo places now um so they're maintaining the 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 kind of the backdrop or they're maintaining the the cuff shooting rat pack kind of yes. uh, yeah 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 <laughs> um no i yeah i had a good time uh i mean it's hard not to have a good time in las vegas it's designed to have a good time um did you meet any people did you know people or you met anybody i or? didn't know people i did i met people at the festival um right. the, yeah i ended up talking to a various nice people i was hanging out with this couple for a while and then this guy came up and he was kind of weird but he was I, I was dressed in a cat costume so i were like yeah i had like cat ears so i mean that probably got some attention <laughs> um i also it's funny because they said no videotaping but i had like a real like old school video camera and so the theme of the festival is like 90s and early 2000s emo and punk bands so it was a okay. bunch of sort of older people but like my video camera wasn't a costume it was a real working video camera but people i think they let me if they because you weren't allowed to have video but i think they let it through because they thought it was just like a prop or an accessory i don't think they quite caught that it was so they, they didn't think anybody would be using that anymore right yeah, yeah, yeah. um but well, no cool. all of that was great all of that was fun um uh coming yeah the airlines were fine treasure island was great as a as a hotel then, like yeah. I said, the festival was great. Um, Alaska Airlines going there was great. Spirit Airlines coming back, not so much. Right. Um, I don't have a lot of, I had never flown Spirit before, but right. yeah, I, I would say Alaska is among my favorite. I mean, for a, a budget a airline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, so tell me, you're thinking about a trip. Uh, the 9th to the 12th. I mean, it's just, it's a weekend. It's between. Thanksgiving and Christmas, and I thought that would, if you're free, I'll, uh, uh, you know, I'll book it. I'll book it, and I'll spend it, some time with you and some time with Nick. So yeah. But, yeah, yeah. No, I love. Yeah, no, that would be great. I want to travel. Well, now that I've traveled successfully, yeah. um, I want to go to New York at some point. I was thinking about maybe July of next year. Well, um, that would be fun. That would be that would be good. Because by then we will have <laughs> presumably finished the renovations on the loft, right. you know. Yeah, yeah. And if you want to be in the loft or out in East Hampton or between the two, I, yeah. Wherever you guys are, I mean, I want, I just want to see. We'll you. be, yeah, we'll probably be in East Hampton, but you want to spend some time in the city. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I feel it's funny. I, 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 I was thinking about it. I feel completely. I mean, it's you know. I mean, even the last few times I was in the city, it was very brief. It was to do touristy things or to show someone around and do touristy things. Um, I don't know how connected I feel to, I don't know. The Hamptons is, yeah, no, well, where again. Wherever you don't you have guys. to feel connected. I mean, I guess I, I feel less connected to, to the city actually now that I'm only in the city Tuesday through Thursday. Right. I, I don't feel, frankly, I don't feel I'm, I'm losing out if you know yeah. what I mean, right. um, there's a concert or something I can, you know, I can catch it. But um, no, I, I, I mean, it, the city is fine. It's come back, except, except in a way, it's come back with, with greater polarity than it even. In in what had sense? Before. In, it's in been, what or in what way? Oh, it, Just economically or economically? Yeah. yeah. I, I mean yeah, the yeah. the the um the, the streets i mean the 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 there of course uh just as many unfortunate people living out of doors or yeah. either by design or by ne by necessity um so that that seems to have to not have him that seems to be worse than it was before covid uh, I right. don't know whether that has something to do with the politics right. or the policies. Um, well, I mean, your mayor, like my mayor, is pretty big on sweeps. That will get rid of the visible problem. I mean, it gets rid of the visible problem. It's, it worked for Rudy Giuliani, but it doesn't solve the problem. And like you said, I mean, so here in Seattle, they, they do sweeps. They don't even, well, they 
legally and technically they're supposed to offer like referrals to shelters. Yeah, yeah. Usually they don't even do that. But even when they do, some of the problems with shelters are families can't be together, men and women can't be together, people who are non-binary or who are not gender conforming have no place to go. Um, people who have young children can be separated. Yeah, um, and then yes, there are people who are, have circumstances like they're doing drugs or alcohol and they don't wanna go to a shelter. And you know what? I get to do drugs and alcohol in my own home because I'm a homeowner. They have to do it on the street and that's why they're criminalized. It's not, the drugs or the alcohol isn't the problem, but the fact that they have no place to go. So I'm, you know, I'm obviously very radical. I'm absolutely for safe use spaces. That includes needles. Yes, let people have a place to go and shoot up safely and have medical staff there while they're there yeah. and then they leave. It, it happens in Vancouver, it happens in Canada and it's legal and safe. Um, and let people, you know, have more options like tiny ha home villages and places where you can legally camp and park, places where you can park RVs. That is, I mean, that is a type of home ownership. I lived in a van, I lived in an RV for several years, and I've lived in a home. They're, they're all types of home ownership, and it's not on someone else to judge because it's not big enough or doesn't meet a, you know, I mean, so yeah, no, the whole the visible things i mean as you're talking it seems to me uh, i i don't i don't know the politics of it but eric adams managed to get a lot of tents up for for um asylum seekers and immigrants very that's quickly. exactly what everyone said you can I do don't that understand in why 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 be, well no because there's no public will to do that because when people go and speak it's not enough people like me it's it's people who say i don't want to see them i don't want to see it i don't want them in my neighborhood so it's interesting you know obviously the nonprofit i work for has a homeless program one of the people i work with she helped establish the tiny house village that's like three blocks away but that's one of the reasons i moved here who else would move to a neighborhood because it has a homeless community because it has an established permanent homeless community Except so those are my those are the those are my peers. Those are people who I feel comfortable around. When I see homeless people in my neighborhood, I feel comfortable. But I know my fellow homeowners don't. You know, I know when they go to town hall meetings, it's not please bring more tiny house villages and more homeless people to my neighborhood. That's right. I mean, it, it, yes, yeah. in my backyard isn't really a thing um, yet. We're working on it, but yeah, yeah. And Eric Adams, I mean. It, I think he I, he would do whatever the will of the people. I don't. I, I mean, I actually don't hate him as much as I did. I think he's kind of will just do whatever people want. But I don't think the will in this era. And he just wants to party and go to have his fancy fake vegan dinners at his whatever you know. <laughs> it um, is his mobster hangouts. Yeah, yeah, his mobster hangout. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, okay, back to travel. Do you, well, you all have, you have like clear check and all that, like tr you have like the, all the fast. Well, that, that, yeah, it, TSA, uh, yeah, TSA, it, for international, uh, I have something called GOES, but you know, the, the thing is you, <laughs> it's a bit of a scam. It, it, it's, it works when you're, when you're trying to get, out of jfk right it's not so great coming back uh, you know? I, I mean look it, it, it's 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 better than that but what i have what i particularly have now is age okay yeah. i have age so i don't have to bend over to take my shoes off i have a hip i have a new hip so i i, I, I was I, confused because i saw they were making well i don't know every place is different las vegas they don't do any screening at all. They literally like, I literally, I was like, you're not gonna, like they just, they don't do any screening at all. Um, they did, they were like yelling at you, do not take off your shoes. Do not take off your shoes. Oh, really? Like, yeah, no, I mean, was, they were just shuffling people through. Yeah. Um, what's interesting is Seattle, the lines are very, very long. It's always been very secure. They've always been, I mean, they, they have drug yeah. dogs. They have, it's always been very secure. Um, and it's very fast, even though you show up and you have this like panic moment of like, and I, you know me, I'm always a day late and a dollar short. I had like half an hour to my gate and I wasn't even sure which gate, like if I'm going to have to take a shuttle or whatnot, but TSA gets you through very, very quickly, even though they're thorough. So 
Las Vegas for all their like, and again, I don't want to attribute it to like blue state, red state, but I think red state, we don't care. I don't know. They're like lack of security. It's interesting. I mean, they're all standing around with guns. They have lots of cops in the airport, but they're all waving you through. They're not, it's all for show. It's, it's. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. And they'll, and on Tuesday, they'll be standing outside the election, uh, the not, voting yeah, machines, intimidating. Not intimidating people. anyone. Right. Yeah. No, don't forget to vote. Are you voting in the city? Yeah, I vote. I vote in the city. But uh, actually, we now we have uh, for the first time a a a uh, uh, a, ra a real race for governor because um, because the uh, Andrew Cuomo quit. Right. And, and his lieutenant governor, Kathy Hawkshaw, she's running. She's fine, but she's not that well known because she right. was. She's never really run big time for right. Office. She's not right. And and her opponent, Lee. who is from Suffolk County out here, Lee Zeldin, yeah. is uh, a very astute politician, former Marine. Yeah. And um he's he's he was totally pro-Trump to get the primary. Right. Then he's trying to he's trying to backpedal a little, but not much. Yeah. He, totally anti-abortion he's totally pro-guns yeah and and i i i mean this is i, I it guess it sounds like well go ahead no, no go ahead. what i was going to say is that a few weeks ago there was there was a shooting near where he lived oh, yeah no no I, I heard about this yeah and he got a lot of positive i'm for the police we have to protect our families. I have twin daughters. Da 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 da. So so the apparently the race is, you know, Repub There hasn't been a Republican governor of New York in 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 ages. I mean, not since Pataki, which is probably when you were a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but 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 that's close. So we got to vote. I mean, I I always vote, but I'm going in to vote. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah definitely. Right um, I have my, I, I did buy some, some Doug Fetterman uh, oh, merchandise okay. just to do my, do my small part to. Yeah. To, yeah. Yeah. yeah um, that's going to be, that's very close. And, 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 and Herschel Walker and is close. Um, I, right. I mean, yeah. And not surprisingly, none of the disclosures or nothing that's come out has really shifted the needle, but that's, yeah. Well, I, I don't yeah, know. I don't think I don't think people who supported him in the beginning are remotely shocked. I mean, they I think they knew what who he was, right? I mean, yeah. They, yeah. they they want a they want the famous ball player. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so what else is going on in your neck of the woods? I'm thinking. I mean, yeah. No, we well in our neck we have another. I, I don't think she's going to win, but Patty Murray is a 30 year politician. They're definitely using ageism and, you know, she's been here for 30 years. Oh, I see. Yeah. And what has she gotten done? Actually, tons. She's done. I mean, just in the last year, I can say she got millions of dollars for, for early learning and young children here in Washington state of federal dollars. Like I can point to exactly what she's done, but her opponent is a, I mean, she looks like a fox blonde helmet. Um, yeah. and her husband is a blind former marine and she uses that at every campaign stop and she's pro trump and guns and yeah, you know all of it i don't think she's going to win this race but i don't think she's going to go away either i think yeah, yeah. you know I, I mean i think she's probably fundraised enough that they'll um yeah i i don't know um i i'm i'm scared frankly that the Democrats have relied too much on the um, pro-abortion scare mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and forget that it's the economy stupid mm -hmm. and and the Repub people people but people voting they don't understand that no no individual including the president 
can affect the can can change inflation. In other words, that, that oh that, no, I know, no, I know. Um, that, I mean, that, that's going to benefit. It's going to the the incumbent will be benefited by 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 good luck and will fail by bad luck, and right. it won't be anything they can do. Yeah, no, they I can mean, it's, it. yeah, it, 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 you're right, and they they should have been hammering it all along. I mean, the 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 whole. I mean, the fact that they let the narrative become Joe Biden's economy, what are you talking about? Though, I will say one thing that the Republicans are pushing that is not a fake narrative that I'm like, oh, that's actually pretty interesting. So Biden has 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 been letting oil reserves and now our oil reserves are pretty low, Yes, which is fine because we can have reserves or not. Um, but our, our gas price is going to go up after the midterms. Is he artificially keeping gas prices down? Oh, oh, I think he definitely, no, I think that was a political move. But those yeah. kind of scheming is, I mean, it's transparent and it's not, yeah. I mean, again, it's not, that's not the same thing as pointing out, look at the economy all around the world. It's not there, you know, I mean, to really have a cogent argument rather than kind of play their trickster games. Yeah, I don't think that, I, the Democrats are really weak position, even though they shouldn't be. I mean, on all- They shouldn't like, be, I agree, they shouldn't be. Um, so just before, just before I got on, I, I somebody sent me a link to a story in the, in the Guardian about the fact that, um, one of the biggest invested investors in Twitter is the is the Saud is the Saudis the Saudis. Oh, I I, I mean, didn't know that. I mean, I I mean, it's one particular guy who's one of the richest men in the in the mm -hmm. kingdom. He's a prince, so he's not the the head guy, but he's a head guy, and I mean, he is... now thinks Musk is terrific. And well. I mean, okay, so I, I don't even know where to begin with that and Twitter and the mass layoffs. I mean, that's, it's just illegal. Um, I don't know who, well, I, I, I don't know who. It, it, it will be disclosed in the months ahead who, where the $12.5 billion came from, but who would put faith in someone this whimsical? I mean, it's like Kanye. He's, he's I mean, you know, I mean, it's, it's who would put faith in someone who, I mean, he's making jokes but people are losing their jobs. This is what the richest man in the world is doing to our economy. Thousands of people lost their jobs yesterday. Um, He's actually like Trump with money. I mean, Trump right, with that. With, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the actual, who can actually, who can actually do it. Yeah. Who can actually do it, not just spew it. Yeah, no, I mean, and it's, and we'll see, but I, you know, um, um, I think he's just going to run it into the ground. I don't think, I mean, the $8 a month for verified fees, first of all, that defeats the whole purpose of like, if this is, I mean, well, okay, I'm sorry, let me back up. For him to buy it, take it private, but to say that his goal is altruism or for the, because it's an important town square, well, then that's why it should be a public service, not why a billionaire should own it. I mean, so just from the beginning, the whole pr proposition is cynical, but you know, this $8, it's going to completely decimate, like, I mean, there are already people spoofing his account because, you know, um, and $8 a month comes out to $96 a year times 30. There are now currently about 400,000 verified accounts. That's $38 million. He's going to need a billion dollars a year just to make up the interest that he owes now. So, and it's it's not going to come from ad, ad revenue anymore because advertisers are fleeing, which he's blaming he's blaming activists on. He met with some activists. He met with the NAACP. He met with Color for Change, and he met with um, a, a third group. He didn't meet with any LGBT groups. And then he said, "We did everything we could, and these mean activists are attacking the First Amendment." First of all, Making an advisement as a nonprofit organization, we advise advertisers not to advertise on this platform until we know more about their trust and safety. That's an attack on the First Amendment. I mean, his world, like, he doesn't even make sense. He doesn't, but thousands of people yeah. fall. He doesn't have to. I he doesn't have to. I mean, it, he doesn't have, well, until he implodes, but I'm, I'm kind of, I feel like we're watching it in real time. I mean, I, I don't think, I think he's, the value of Twitter is in the value of a of a community that he just destroyed. And 
No, I mean, no one's going to want it. I mean, he can, you can own the, the, the platform, but that, that's not, that, without you, using- you, I don't know. Do you pay, do you pay, do, do users pay? It's currently free. There is a $3 a year or $3 a month tier that they introduced that had some perks. Um, but this $8 tier, even if he could significantly get a significant amount of people, no, it, it, it's, it's not, that's not going to happen. And driving away advertisers and users, which is what he's doing right now. And I guess he's fine. He thinks he has enough users and he thinks with the hate speech and whatnot. I mean, yeah, advertisers are going to flee if they see their ads alongside of cryptocurrency, pornography, and hate speech. It has nothing to do with whether they're recommended to or not by a nonprofit. It's gonna, it has to do with what the platform has become with literally within a week. And he's like, well, we haven't changed anything to the to the to the to the rules yet. Well, when you fire half your people, when you fire the entire ethics department responsible for moderation, then the user experience is going to change. If yeah, I, it seems to me that owning something like this, that it, it's almost a conceptual thing because w if people stop using it. There is nothing. No, there is nothing. It's Someone not like still owns you have my a factory space. or yeah. a manufacturing plant, or you have stuff to sell off. You, there, there's nothing. In other yeah. words, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you may have computer equipment. You may have computer equipment or something, but, but you, you, you it can go to z. It can go to net zero, right? right. Yeah, no, and first of all, the computer equipment, all those servers and stuff, that, that's worth nothing. Those will, you'll have to sell off at surplus. What you had was a talented staff of yeah, engineers yeah, who knew what they were yeah. doing and running a company. But yeah, yeah no, I mean, the, 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 the last 40 years are littered with dot coms that someone probably still owns the rights to. Someone still owns pet.com, but that's not where you buy your pet food because you buy it from Chewy. Someone still owns yeah, MySpace. Yeah. Someone still owns Napster. Someone still owns, but they're yeah. worthless as Twitter yeah. will be. Unless, if, if he doesn't let, if, if, uh, the only thing that I could imagine that would turn Twitter around at this point is if he was ousted. If he ousted himself or out, if he completely removed himself from, from, from decision-making power, and or were literally removed like the prime minister of england i mean which i mean yeah again, but that just happened so it doesn't seem as far-fetched as it would yeah, have a the month prime ago. minister of england is subject to his he his part he serves his party musk serves nobody except himself well exactly because he bought everyone else out there are no shareholders or, which is i mean that was his point he didn't want to join he was invited to join the board six months ago but he didn't want to join the board but again, that's it. You want to play cowboy. In well, yeah. You know, yeah. I, I don't know. Well, okay. So, so the, 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 um, uh, a tomato soup flinging. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, let's talk about the activists and the, well, yeah. They have, at the moment, there's a, there's a, uh, a standoff in the UK, I think, because, because there's some there's a the, the government is considering something and they're not doing anything until that's con being considered that they, they, in other words they they feel they've got they've actually made ah. some possible progress good um, i good it I, may be coincidental or it may be a result right no right um here in the us i still feel like the press is not I mean, first of all, they're still talking about paintings like they've been actually damaged. So that messaging is not being transmitted. I mean, they're they're. Uh -oh. it, it's a jokey thing. It's a it's a squib. It's a it's a small column here. Yeah. Um, it it it's it's yeah. not developed. It's not developed. Right. Right. Uh, in in a sense, you know that. But no, I think. Um, yeah, I wish them the best. I mean, I, I, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm going back to Eric Adams or all our conversation. No, oh, you know, I'm sorry. Um, so back in the day, I had friends who were involved in, and this is actually Kamala Harris's ex 
boyfriend, Willie Brown, the mayor, former mayor of yeah, Seattle, they pied him. They, they hit him in the face with a tofu cream pie. They end up yeah. going to jail for assault. And I mean, that feels harsh, but I mean, even if it's a pie, that's still assault. And so, I mean, we live in a world now where if you throw an empty water bottle at a police officer, that is assaulting an officer. And I get that. Um, I used to be more, I, I'm sorry, I, I am making, I do have a, a point. I used to be more pro showing up at people's houses, like uh, during the 2020 George Floyd uprising, various protests were showing up at city council members' houses. The city councilors were coming outside, talking to the protesters, and kind of it became like a litmus test of like, who will come outside and talk to the protesters versus who's just going to call the cops on us. But I think in this era, oh, well, two things. One, I think it's interesting all these politicians who are perfectly willing to make laws protecting politicians, not protecting everyone. Like if we're going to make laws saying you can't go to someone's house and make threats, we should really enforce the laws we have about making threats now rather than make extra special laws just for politicians, right? I think yeah. Yeah. the police we have now should either enforce the law equally for everyone um, or, but, but yeah, I guess the whole point, I, I don't know, I'm just thinking of different tactics. I'm thinking of, yeah, more theatrical tactics, um, yeah, no, those protesters who glued themselves to a Porsche and then they just turned the lights out on them. They turned the lights and the heat out on them and said, have a good weekend. Like, I mean, that's was but, not the re, re the woman. Uh, <laughs> she's in my book. I can't remember the name. Nan Golden, who did the protests. I mean, she's been doing it all mm -hmm. her career, mm -hmm. but particularly the ones against the Sackler family. That was all in museums, mm -hmm. but she didn't they didn't attack paintings they did massive like like remember during aids they yeah, would yeah, 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 yeah. blood they would basically do huge performance pieces right right spontaneously right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it didn't it it didn't they they i don't know how they orchestrated them but they, there was never any kind of police confrontation right but they got a huge amount of press do you but do you, do you think in today's climate you could do it that way again i mean do you think today's museums the security is the same do you think the public oh, opinion think, no, is the same you, you can you can the, the, because the museum security museums cannot afford that well security. that's true yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, and their lobbies are very vulnerable quite frankly yeah, yeah. i mean th th they are so and they're an ideal place for demonstrations. Sure. But if if the museums were smart, actually, they would book demonstrations. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Um, I, it, I mean, and that sounds funny. But again, when I lived in San Francisco, there was a running calendar of like, oh, where are we going? We'll be at the Mexican consulate to protest for the turtles. We'll be in the then after. I mean, there was a running. You knew where your week was. There were protests all week long. They need to be somewhere. Yeah, no, you they they used to be. I don't know. Maybe they used to be a social calendar in New York for, you know, for rich people where yeah, they yeah, know yeah. Which, which gala event they would be right. going. Yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. And if you booked one, you made sure that you didn't overlap with somebody else's. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Well. Oh. I haven't opened this yet. Uh, this arrived. I, I wanted to book. save this and open this with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I haven't seen the the. I, I so you showed me yours, but I haven't seen. There it is. The cover. I I I I launched it on Instagram today. The the date is actually the eighth of no. I mean the official date is the eighth of November. Okay. So people, people can pre-order on Amazon. Okay, yeah. you can pre-order on Amazon now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no, I'm. So, I love the cover. You're, you're mentioned in it, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank. Yeah. Good. Well, I'm glad you got it. <coughs> Anything else? Anything planned for the week? Uh, oh, there's a big auction at Christie's. Paul. Oh, Paul Allen's collection. Oh. Paul Allen's collection. At yeah, 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 yeah. Go uh, make. 
I mean, it will it will be it will be a billion dollars, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. a very very good painting. But yeah, the, yeah, the very very good paintings. He obviously had good advice, but what everybody's what everybody's commenting on is that there's no there's no kind of theme. In other words, there's no. It's not like he seemed to like something. Right. No, I no, no, I know. I think we talked about this and I, I We may have I, talked about that. Yeah. And I think I mean I to me I associate it with him being a tech person like and it's something I think whether he made his own personal decisions or whether he was literally using an algorithm, it feels like he made decisions by algorithm. Like it was well, like he, yeah. He was, he, he was, they may have been even human algorithms, but he he did in 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 many instances he sought to get the best to pay the most he was prepared to pay the most for the best which is which is actually right. the way every great collector has collected even yeah. if it's been painful but 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 usually they've concentrated you know on mm. an area whereas mm. He his his is more more in slight encyclopedic in a way, but but that's fine. I mean, I I, I think hats off to him. I don't know where I think the I don't know where the money's going. I think some of it will probably foundations to like, foundations. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, the family um, has enough. So yeah. so what when okay when I last lived in Las Vegas, they were building what was called La Rev, but that's that never. There is Wynn Hotel, but that's on the opposite side of the street. And I couldn't even figure out which hotel was the one that, I think it's called like the fashion something, but it's all, I, yeah, I don't know uh, what. Wynn when, when sold Bellagio. Right. And then he built the Wynn and then he got kicked out of the business. Oh. Oh, oh, that's he, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he, he doesn't, he's not allowed in that business anymore. But I well at one but at one point he was going to name a hotel La Rev after the yes. painting which he owned. You know, does yeah, he, yeah, but he doesn't own it. No, he, yeah, 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 right. He, yeah, yeah. We, that, uh, it was sold a long time ago. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So he doesn't own it anymore. So, but no, because the Bellagio also had a restaurant. I don't know whether it was called Picasso, or it was but, right. which had a lot of very good late paint, good late paintings by Picasso in it, and in fact, the 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 latter part of those were sold very successfully by Sotheby's this last year on site. They had an auction in Las Vegas. They didn't take them. Yes, to yeah, yeah, yeah. And and that was very successful, apparently. So yeah. But, uh, but that that those were sold by whoever had whoever bought the Bellagio. Yes. Bought those in the in the deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, you yeah. watching anything? Anything on TV? I watch. I finished watching. Actually, I finished watching Shetland. Yes. Which is six episodes, and coincidentally, the theme the theme is uh, climate activists. Mm. A very serious mm -hmm. oil slick, anti oil on the mm -hmm. coast of mm -hmm. Scotland. So it was very exciting, and I started watching something called Bullet, which is Finnish, which looks quite good. And a Scot, another Scottish one, called Car Karen. It's a woman's name, and she's quite young. And everybody, uh, even I, find it difficult to understand. What oh wow! Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it, it it's pretty good. It's pretty good though. It's one of these where three guys may or may not have done something 25 years ago mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and now they're all grown up and uh, one's a doctor one's a one's a something yeah and 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 this young girl has been given this job because she's the youngest female detective it's right. been fobbed off on her right yeah right 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 yes and it's like a dead and case her right? kid who is male is pissed off because she got the job and he didn't ah right? okay he told her it's only because she's a woman right right she right stopped sleeping with him so yeah, yeah. <laughs> no that all sounds good no that sounds very, well, very good. good yeah for yeah. sure and i I'm, I'm told i've been told to watch the sandman which i haven't started yet but um, i don't know what that is it's a i think 
a bit SFE or time travel -y. I don't know. Oh, okay. Time travel, I'm always good on. Go. Um, so. My recommendation would be Weird, the Weird Al story, which is now debuting. Oh, with, 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 uh, with, with Daniel Radcliffe and is, is that Day. on? Is that a TV show or what? It is, or it's a TV movie. It is a parody of biopics. So, for instance, in it, because of course Weird Al very famously kind of submitted a song to a radio station, became famous, has been married to the same woman, and just had a clean life making music. But in this biopic, he dates Madonna, and he's drunk, oh, and he's getting oh, it's, it's a parody of biopics. Oh, parody. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I will like it. Good. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So I, I yeah, that I'm looking forward to. And then I, well, not that I'm recommending it. There's a movie called Terrifier Two currently in the theater. People are throwing up and passing out. Um, and really? that's that's real. Like someone who I, I I looked for a review of someone who's like, no, I watch a lot of horror movies. I'm this this is really. I didn't pass out. I didn't. But I. It's, 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 it's so. Even you, even what, you. I have not seen it yet. I saw Terrifier oh. 1. I haven't seen part two yet, but I'm just saying, this is what people are talking about this Halloween season of like scary movies. They're, they're waiting for people to go back in, in the theaters because it's no fun to throw up at home, right? It's showing in the theaters, but it's. What I'm saying is it has to be in the theater. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah, yeah. Keep telling yourself it's only a movie. I mean, I feel like this was like back in the '60s where you had to sign a waiver to see. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you, Dad. I love you, Bob. Talk to you soon. All right. Have a, have good, a good week. week. Bye.